Tim Burton and Johnny Depp breathe life into the classic gothic soap, Dark Shadows. Airing on ABC from 1966 to 1971, the macabre soap opera introduced daytime television viewers to the mysterious vampire Barnabas Collins. Over the years, the show has retained a cult status, and two of the show's biggest fans, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp, have spent the last seven years working on a big screen adaptation. What is the year? 1972. 1972. At the film's black carpet premiere in Hollywood Monday night, the star slash producer talked about his dark labor of love. In terms of transition to cinema, there was there's no way to take that show as it was filmed and translate that to cinema. So it was basically we just used you know kind of uh, the feelings that we got from it or certain memories that we had from the show and 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 um, beefed it up a bit. Clearly, this isn't your father's dark shadows. The black and white melodrama has been replaced with fish out of water comedic overtones thanks to Depp's Barnabas awakening in shag carpeted 1972 after being cursed by a spurned lover who also happens to be a witch, played by former Bond girl Eva Green. With what a spell. With this. I must admit, they have not aged a day. I, I grew up uh, in, in France, so I, I was not familiar with the show at all, and I, I really, you know, I, I of course looked up online and I. It's, it's, it's very different. I take it as a different material. You know, it's a comedy with a bit of romance. It's a mixture. It's both. It's weird. Welcome home, Barnabas Collins. Hard to believe it's been two decades since her unforgettable turn as Catwoman in Burton's Batman Returns, but now in Dark Shadows, Michelle Pfeiffer plays the Collins family matriarch who reluctantly sees the recently revived Barnabas as the opportunity to revive the family business. Partners. When I was a kid, I was obsessed, really? obsessed with vampires. I went to every Dracula movie. I was, I, I would sprint home from the, from the bus stop to, to get in front of the television to watch Dark Shadows because it came on in the afternoon. How soon can the horses be ready? We don't have horses. We have a Chevy. Rounding out the cast, Jackie Earl Haley, Hugo's Chloe Grace Moretz, and Mrs. Tim Burton, Helena Bonham Carter. And if you think Burton and Depp were going to make a movie steeped in early 70s goth and not include rocker Alice Cooper, think again. Alice Cooper. They probably couldn't make this movie without you in it. That was the that was the period for Alice right then. I mean, we ex just established Alice as that, as the villain of rock. So it was the perfect, you know, place for the girl to say, we need Alice Cooper at the party, you know, and he's, okay, Alice Cooper. And a Tim Burton film, when you walk onto a Tim Burton set, you know, just by the look of it. Everything, when I see a Tim Burton film, everything's three degrees left. It always feels like it's just a little off, you know, his, his universe is a little bit cocked to the left or a little bit to the right, it's never straight on. And that's what I love about his movies. Dark Shadows marks the eighth time Depp and Burton have collaborated together on film, and much like Burton's Batman films 20-some years earlier, fans of the original might find their loyalties tested due to Burton's unique visual style and reimagining of concept for newer generations. For his part, the director saw the film more as an opportunity to work with old friends. Well, he wanted, I mean, this is the first time I think I've ever worked with him where it was something that meant a lot to him. It was something that, you know, I even think before he became an actor, he had a dream of playing Barnabas Collins. So it was kind of very personal for him. Warner Brothers certainly hopes audiences are very receptive. It's still six weeks before their big superhero movie tries to break box office records, which means it's up to Dark Shadows to take a bite out of reigning box office juggernaut The Avengers when it opens this Friday in theaters and IMAX. Are you stoned or something? They tried stoning me, my dear. It did not work. In Hollywood, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.